projects. In those hard times, you see everything. Crackheads, you know, to drug dealers, to gunshots every night, to police sirens. And I think it just made me stronger. and I wanted to keep it that way. I can do so many things that can help my team win, and that's what I did. Obviously, a lot of the focus on LeBron James, but who guards him tonight? Lineups and the opening tip off just moments away. LeBron James is back on the floor. We're back in a moment. And the thing that's so amazing about LeBron, he thrives on this type of energy. Some guys all of a sudden go into a cocoon because of all the attention. Not so with him. He thrives on it and seems to elevate his game when all of a sudden everything else is surrounding him. And you heard it, and you heard in the piece. They talked about, I'll show you when I feel like showing you. I, I can turn it on and off when I want, but you know, he doesn't disappoint. Guys, obviously LeBron ultra talented as a player, but one of the more impressive things, his teammates and his coaches love playing with LeBron James. There he comes out, listen to this roar. He never disappoints, huh? All this stuff going on, stepping up 20 points already, doing it outside, and also showing you he can go get it done inside as well. And the playgrounds, you know what they, they describe him? He's for real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the first pick in the 2003 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. This is a long time dream to finally accomplish this and it finally shows that the hard work has finally paid off for me. It's going to be, you know, one of the best parts about him is his athleticism, but also they're counting him to be a leader. He wants to win, he's won every year he's been in high school. This is a guard, everybody. Bam! many guards that can do that. LeBron James will hear it from the crowd there. A he no, air mailed that one. There's a no leg jump shot right there. LeBron James from the top with a rainbow gun. He got that one. Well, much different arcs in that shot yeah. than the first half. Well, I think that, you know, that I, I know him pretty well, and I know the type of person that he is. And he's the type of person that's, he, first of all, he's a workaholic, he's a gym rat, and he's constantly learning, trying to make himself better. So, you know, it's just a matter of him figuring out how he wants to go about closing games. And, um, you know, it, that's how I approach it. I don't look at it as, you know, he's shies away from the moment where he's scared of the moment. First of all, thank, thank you, Cleveland, for being a great host city in your first visit to the NBA Finals. And congratulations to the Cavaliers, who rose up all year and had a spectacular postseason run. And now, to the San Antonio Spurs, a team for the ages, who have won their fourth championship in nine years. Basketball that puts them 
in the pantheon of the great teams in NBA history. So congratulations to the Spurs, to Peter Holt, to the ownership group, to Coach Popovich, and particularly to the great fans of San Antonio. Here's the trophy. Answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? In this fall, man, this is, this is very tough. In this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. We're playing in front of these fans again. You know, I had a lot of fun times. Like I said, my seven years here. Um, but, I, you know, you don't you can't predict the future. Um, you know, hopefully, I'll continue to stay healthy. You know, I'm here as a Miami Heat player, and I'm happy where I am now. But I don't rule that out um, in no sense. Um, and if I decide to come back, hopefully the fans will have accept me. This is a mismatch. I mean, they're just not, not as good enough. It's going to be nine minutes of everything you guys have. Hard to imagine a second round matchup any better than this. The Dallas Mavericks are NBA champions. A stunning ending to one of the more compelling seasons in NBA history. How would you say you play in the NBA Finals? Uh, not great at all. Uh, not the way I know how to play a game of basketball on a high level. You know, I'm out there to, to be a game changer, and I didn't make enough game-changing plays. Were you not aggressive enough? Just easy to look back and, and say, why wow, I should have did it this way. Why well, I should have been more aggressive. Um, I just know I didn't play well. I could have played down the stretch better. I didn't have enough game-changing plays like I know I'm capable of having. Plays where it just shifted the whole game. I don't remember having one of those plays in the finals. How did that affect you personally? <laughs> Probably one of the hardest times of my life. You know, after the finals, I sat in my room for two weeks, did absolutely nothing, talked to absolutely nobody. What'd you like? Um, I got to this point by playing this game a certain way. You know, getting back to me loving the game and having fun with the game. I play the game fun, I'm joyful. You know, and I let my game do all the talking. You know, and you know, I got away from that. Going you know, through my first seven years in the NBA, I was always the, you know, the light one to be in, on the other side. Um, you know, they call it the dark side or the villain, whatever they call it. Um, it, was, it was definitely challenging for myself. It was a situation I'd never been in before. And, uh, it took a long time to adjust to it. What did it feel like? 
uh, didn't feel good when I made the decision. I was still living in Ohio, so you, know, you can feel it. You don't even have to hear it sometimes. You can feel it. You know, the hatred or whatever the case may be you know, with my departure. You know, if I could look back on it, I would probably change a lot of it. Um, you know, the fact that having the whole um, TV special and, and people get an opportunity to watch me uh, make a decision on where I'm going to play. Um, I, I would probably change that, you know, um, you know, because I can now look and see if I was, if the shoe was on another foot and I was a fan. And I was very passionate about one player um, and he decided to leave. Um, you know, I would be upset too, you know, by the way that he handled it. Basically, it turned me into somebody I wasn't, you know, and I started to hear the villain. Now you have to be the villain. And, uh, you know, and I started to buy into it. You know, I started to play, uh, play the game of basketball at a, at a, at a level or at a mind state that I've never played at before. You uh, are you know, angry. You know, and that's mentally. And that's not the way I play the game of basketball. I'm not here to ask for any sympathy or ask for no, no apologies, letting people know what who I am. And who I am. How different do you want it to be this season? Oh, it's totally different. Um, you know, for me, I think losing in the NBA Finals, which is one of the, I guess I can look back on a few instances in my life. I think growing up uh, you know, without, without a father, um, you know, not knowing sometimes my mom will come home. Uh, my junior year in high school, I lost the state championship, and also uh, you know, losing the Finals. It gave me an opportunity to learn who I am as a person and learn how to go forward. This is going to be as bitter an end to a season as you can possibly have. You never want to get to the finals and lose. To win a championship is the hardest thing you want to do. I have an opportunity to be there uh, twice in my career. I'm uh, coming away with what it's all about, and that's winning it all. Uh, But LeBron James, it is time. And the reason that I say it's time is because he's the one with the tattoo, the chosen one. He's the one with the King James. So let's seize this moment. Let's seize every opportunity, man. Don't get too high. Don't get too low. We stick together no matter what. All right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Heat on three. Let's go. One, two, three. Hey. Stolen by LeBron. His game oh. has come oh. up short. Time and time again. It jams it down. It's like he wants to be crowned with no rings. You got to get it done. Period. Feel for it now. Uh, game two, we have to dominate. We will make adjustments. This is the fill out game. Now we get an opportunity to go to the chalkboard, go to the film, and uh, have a better game plan in game two. It is time. I'm tired of this man being celebrated. For what? We know you're great. How about winning? Win for one. Just win. win. Yeah. Sending this one out. To my man Killer B, no doubt indeed. Without we, you know what I'm saying? That old real shit. And broke one was the first time facing elimination in these playoffs. Durant throws it away to Thomas. James on the break and the finish. With your head down, scared to look He can Shook, do it Cause ain't all. no such thing He's as halfway the crooks They never be around when the ever ever cooks in my part of town It's similar to Vietnam Now we all grown up and old And be on the cops control Durant they better have the right here, Stolen baby. by Chalmers Back to LeBron James Lays it in I you, believe you with not much An avalanche from Miami James Warren gets another one Puts it up, backs it in And a foul he gets his triple-double and a chance for a three-point play. The Miami Heat are once again NBA champions. LeBron James captures that elusive title he so desperately coveted.
celebration in full swing here at the American Airlines Arena. Well, this finally put an end to all the criticism in today's world, perhaps not, but even anybody that's ever rooted against him. If you love the game of basketball, you've got to respect and admire what LeBron James brings to the court every time he steps on the floor. One of the most unselfish stars the league has ever seen. And LeBron James averaged 28.6 points, 10.2 rebounds, 7.4 assists, and is the unanimous choice for the MVP, the Bill Russell Most Valuable Player Trophy of the 2012 NBA Finals. When the clock hit triple zeros, what's the first thing that ran through your mind? Uh, it's about damn time. It's about damn time. I knew what got me to this point, and that was hard work and dedication. Um, and I never had to prove anything to anyone. You know, in my first seven years, I just went out and let the game take care of itself. And last year, I tried to prove something to everybody. You know, and I played with a lot of hate, and that's not the way I play the game of basketball. I played with a lot of love, a lot of passion. And uh, that's what I got back to this year. We saw you on the broadcast, seconds left in the game. What was going on on the bench in your show of just unbridled emotion? I mean, it's, uh, this right here is the happiest day of my life. Now you can call him King James. The time is now, on everything. Took my heart away from money, I ain't interested in fame. And I pray that never change. Ambition is priceless, it's something that's in your veins. And I put that on my name. Uh. Only on my ass, I was on my grind, cause times was harder than the solid flow. My mama told me never still would never tell her folks. I grew up looking up the niggas that was selling coke. Oh, I was raised by the stop sign. No religion, I was getting saved by the clock now. But I never got to get paid like a high high. And the Miami Heat, we that kind of connected. We have the second longest win streak. Was rejecting that they regret it and get my message. Wasn't signal when I was texting. The niggas I was calling was fraud and I learned my lesson. Now I move with aggression. Use my mind as a weapon, cause chances are never given. They took it like interceptions. So go that pass, I'll be the cornerback. Me and Valar and MMG gon' bring that one of them. My ambition. Here's LeBron. Yes, dream, a dream, though it's harder than living. The end of the greatest regular season in Miami Heat history, and now the Heat are 16 wins away from a second straight NBA championship. 25 years of Heat basketball. The season's over. The new season begins on the weekend.
championship resides once again in Miami. With 25.3 points, almost 11 rebounds a game and seven assists, the 2013 Bill Russell NBA Finals most valuable player is for the second straight finals, LeBron James. Listen, uh, for me, I can't worry about what everybody say about me. I'm LeBron James from Akron, Ohio, from the inner city. I'm not even supposed to be here. That's enough. Every night I walk into the, the locker room, I see a number six with James on the back. I'm blessed. So what everybody say about me off the court don't matter. I ain't got no words. Stand to your feet and greet the greatest player in the world. Number six, LeBron James. LeBron James earns his second ring as the Heat repeat and secure their third championship in franchise history. When you play sports and you're committed to something, the commitment, the responsibility of showing up to practice on time, to being there for your teammates, um, to listening to your coaches, it's a responsibility that you have when you're playing with a group, that you have to hold your end of the bargain and, uh, you know, shape me to, to who I am today.
It's, it's a very tough, very tough moment. We were a few seconds away from winning the championship, and we let it go. I think in the last couple of years, I've really taken a step back and stopped and enjoyed the journey. I appreciate every game more. I appreciate every accomplishment, knowing that it might be the last time I do it. time for myself uh, you know it's a place that I'll you know, be home it's, it's gonna be unbelievable man I'm looking forward to the challenge LeBron James tells Sports Illustrated quotes I'm going home the four-time NBA MVP will return to the Cleveland Cavaliers where he began his career just four years after the decision LeBron was at the same crossroads again it came down to staying in Miami or returning to Cleveland 